Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way. David De Gea is back. The main goalkeeper is back. The best goalkeeper of last season is back. Is that true? We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about Rasmus Holland, his adaptation of how, I mean, how has Rasmus Holland done so far in the Premier League? And uh, yeah, we'll talk also about Manchester United. How do we move forward with Sir Jim Ratcliffe? Guys, please give me just 10 minutes of your time as we do as usual. I respect your time. But before we start, please make sure you click the like on the video. And thanks for all of you who have been doing that because it's fantastic. You are the guys who are helping. You are the stream, uh, the bloodstream, uh, the blood of the uh, of of the veins here in uh, the United Way. So we have had news here from the Sun. Some of you take it with a pinch of salt because you know the Sun magazine. It uh, they have their flaws also as uh, in terms of the way they 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 um always uh, come out with their news. The Sun has come out here with Neil Costas. Neil Costas, I won't uh, lie you, is a guy who has always been a, co a controversial guy uh, in the Sun in terms of the way he, uh, not everything that he says comes to pass, but uh, let's just take it because it is news. Actually, David De Gea was seen with some of um, his former teammates because he used to be a Manchester United player. Obviously, he has a house in Manchester. It's been like two weeks ago when David De Gea returned to Manchester, the, the city, not the club. And um, he has been seen going with Manchester United players for dinner. And we have just had some developments here from the song which say Manchester United plan to embrace a U-turn uh, by uh, pleading with dumped goalkeeper. Dumped, that's the word that hit me. A goalkeeper that was dumped. And I'm going to tell you guys why they use the word goalkeeper. David De Gea's return for a short-term deal. That's another word, short-term deal. They emphasize it. Why? The club are worried. They will be short of keepers when Cameroon number one, Onana, goes to the African Nation Cup. He will be out. Onana will be out for potential eight eight games, right? Eight games in the African Nation Cup. If it happens that Cameroon uh, reaches the finals, winning is something else. We know Man United were caught out of guard after Onana's uh, perform uh, a U tune, a U turn, sorry, on his international retirement. Afcon runs from the thirteenth of January uh, to the eleventh of February, which means. Uh, that uh, 40, the 48, uh, the 43.8 uh, summer signing could miss up to eight uh, Manchester United matches. That's what I just said. So the club are ready to to um, turn on David De Gea, having uh, booted him out in the summer. Uh, and the Spaniard, which is 32 years of age, has been in Manchester United since he was 20. That's when, uh, um, uh, 12 years now. So tell me what you think below. That's the, what uh, Neil Costas from The Sun has just come out with. Is David, David De Gea coming back to Manchester United? Firstly, are you happy with that? That's the first question. Secondly, is that the right move? Should have we gone for somebody new or we should deal with experience? Someone who understands Manchester United, the process, the culture of the team. Is that a good news? If you were David De Gea, were you, I mean, are you going to come back? Are you going to, re, are you going to, 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 to return considering the way you were treated uh, when you, le you left the club? This is very important because you as fans, I know most of you have, um, you might have conflicting opinions, but honestly, guys, let's be, Let's be real. Manchester United is not our local club. It's a club which um, is considered by many. The club, not the team. The club is a very prestigious club to play for. Massive brand. You would love to be a part of it. And by the way, Manchester United is just one of the few clubs. Because the reason why I want to say this now is because most journalists are saying that if David Gea was that good, why has some clubs not um, the, um, uh, got, uh, took, him, took his service? That, I mean, why have some clubs not, not just signed him if he was that good? The issue is David De Gea was earning over 300,000K. When he was here, it was reported David De Gea was earning over 350K a week for Manchester United. Very few clubs, even the Saudi Arabian clubs, right, will, 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 um, will not struggle. They will find it tough to pay a goalkeeper such a salary, honestly. Yeah, uh, so... Um, yeah, but th that's one of the reasons that the most clubs haven't taken down the gear. But he gave his loyalty. Let me give you guys the stories of Bavik De Gea last season. He had to sign a contract with Manchester United this season. They had an agreement. I think it was after, if I want the reports were back then, you remember we're disqualified from the European League Cup last year. The goals that he conceded, uh, conceded, uh, conceded against uh, the Spanish team, uh, Seville, you know, that they if you remember. I mean, Ten Hag just said he wanted to go playing goalkeeper, a goalkeeper of would, uh, which um, will, 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 will kind of kind of change the way Manchester United play. Played. That's why when we we understood that we could get uh, Onana, 
Ten Hag just said, okay, you know what? Maybe we should we should let David De Gea go. But David De Gea was verbally promised by Manchester United that he will, his contract will be extended. He even accepted to lower his his salary by 50% and will be paid based of his based on his performance, which is most mostly, I mean, some would say it was a good deal for Manchester United. But considering a football is not a charity. I'm telling you, the fans who love to treat football as if it's a charity. Football is not a charity. Manchester United turned down their offer and let David De Gea go. So now we are having this report. It could be a gossip. It couldn't be right. It is not our position to say if it's right or it's wrong. I know some people are just going out there and say, oh, they don't believe. It's your right not to believe. I might not believe. It's not important. But what is important is that us as fans of Manchester United, guys, what is your opinion about this? Drop your comment below. I want to know because maybe you have an opinion. Uh -huh. Maybe you're happy about that. Maybe you're not. But it's important to know what the, bro the, 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 I mean, the broader fan base, Manchester United fan base, understand, uh, think about such a move. Is that a smart move for a short-term deal for such an experienced goalkeeper? I would love to read your comments, to be honest. So let's go to the second uh, story. We know uh, Rasmus Holland. This is a question, right? Rasmus Holland has been in Manchester United. He has scored most of his goals, if you can remember. Uh, uh, if you can uh, uh, just remember, he scored most of his goals. I think maybe even all of his goals in the in, during the Champions League. He hasn't really made that impact yet with the Manchester United, uh, in, in, with Manchester United in the Premier League. So he has found some difficulties, which means if you want to judge judge Rasmus Holland's performance from Manchester United considering uh, only the Premier League you would have said he's a flop because he hasn't yet scored so far he hasn't yet scored I mean create, you know, let me say he hasn't created an impact you know in Manchester United what is your view with Manchester with uh, Rasmus Holland are you satisfied I mean personally I can tell you this for free I am satisfied with Rasmus Holland because not only because he uh, he he is uh he is a proper nine, but he is the kind of attacker which United need moving forward. I think Rasmus um, has come to a club which has not played with the proper nine for a long time. I think Rasmus Holland is playing with attackers who are very selfish in Marcus Rashford and Anthony. I think Marcus Ras I, th I think that Rasmus Holland, if he was playing for a team, even let's just go, let us not talk about City. Let's talk about Aston Villa. He would have scored already at least four or five goals because he is a good attacker. He 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 creates that spaces for uh, for attacking. This is the biggest issue I have said it about Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag. I said for Eric Ten Hag. To be successful, he needs to make Bruno Fernandes play in the right position. Bruno has to know he's the 10. Bruno, every game, I want you to give at least three to five true passes to your nine. You have to, I played as a midfielder, so I understand what I'm talking about. You have to give two, three to five true passes to your nine. You have to serve your nine because with those three to five three passes, your nine can score at least a goal or two. This is what the 10 should be. The 10 should not be only about running like a headless chicken. This is the problem we have Manchester United. I asked you guys on our last video. I did our five things which we learned on our previous video. And one of the first things I told you guys on what we learned in our previous video was that there is no playing style in Manchester United. That makes you playing as a nine. You are just frustrated. Tell me what you think below as a fan if you agree with me on this because this is the biggest problem we have as Manchester United fan. If Manchester United, I will close this video by telling you guys, asking you a question. If Manchester United was not your club, your, you were a fan of, would have you been watching Manchester United games? I, I tell you no. I watched Man. I don't want to talk about City because City is the blueprint of English football today. But I'll tell you what: you watch Aston Villa play; it's interesting. You watch Brighton play; you see what is go what is going on. Manchester United is playing generally. I don't know if I should say negative football, but it's clueless football. Just like I mean, you, there is no style of play. I think that is where that is the section where Eric Ten Hag is going closely to, in which that that uh, he will be judged with by the end of the season. If United wins nothing this season and keep playing very poorly. He will be judged at the end of the sitting season on the playing style. So Eric Tenner needs to get his act together. So uh, <clears throat> Rasmus Holland for me, I think is the right kind of player United needs. The question we don't have the right people around him, or we do have the right people around him who are not doing the right things around him in order to let, get help him excel. I team Holland uh, um, in Manchester City will find it very difficult to express himself in Manchester United in this negative football we are playing. Yeah. So um. Uh yeah so yeah we yeah yeah we go in regards to that what we do have we have to talk about also I told you guys about uh I did a video here told you guys about the news we're talking about technical director of Manchester United you should go and watch it you know that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is coming in with a new blood a new ideas for Manchester United which he wants to bring a technical director who's going to work with hopefully Eric Ten Hag 
uh, in um, uh, in Mitchell, right? And uh, in Paul Mitchell, which most of you know him. And uh, I think Manchester United, from the coming next season, United will be doing things a little bit professional. What I've read from Manchester United, especially during the Pogba days, we even heard to, uh, when Pogba's previous manager talked about in the late uh, the late manager, he has gone uh, the, the, his name has gone away from my head. Here, yeah, I think it was a Turkish guy. He talked about United not being respected in the market because of the way we present ourselves. We overpay for players, so we cannot kick out players. And this is a situation which you, the ordinary fans, you know, in football, when I said ordinary fans, I mean the you and me, you know, people who go to matches who are interested and love their club, the ordinary fans. And um, uh, they don't they don't know why uh, Manchester United not doing well. These are technical things that you have to put into consideration. Also, there have been also some news that uh, you have... Um, a future owner, part-time owner, 25% owner, which is uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, is so into uh, bringing in uh, the previous manager of uh, <clears throat> a previous man manager of Chelsea, which is uh, Graham Porter. I think the Graham Potter news, sorry, I don't want to say right, wrong, but I think it's a lie. I think Graham Potter coming to Manchester United, if you're talking about the biggest mistake, I think that could be a mistake because... I don't see Graham Potter coping with the pressure in Manchester United with such the players which we have. I tell you guys, some of you say, Rob, why don't you give the, uh, the, the responsibility on Eric Tenak? I said, the reason why I don't do that is because next season is the season where if Manchester United keep playing the way they're playing the next season, I will be the first to sit here and tell that Eric Tenak should be sacked and I will be doing it very aggressively. But I think this season is the second season and uh, yeah, he, I will give him a kick for this season. He brought up the Champions League I think he he has done like 40 to 50 percent of the transfers in the steep pitch is him. He's learning in a very difficult club, not the team club, how to manage things. And I'll give him a pass on this season. But next season, if um, we next season, if we don't come out with a real proper um, uh, plan on how we play and what we expect from United, then uh, I'll be in the train of Eric Hengna out, to be honest. Only guys, tell me what you think about this video. What's your opinion about De Gea coming to Manchester United? Is uh, Rasmus Holland having a, a fair, at least a good season with Manchester United? And should God, uh, Graham Potter be the replacement of uh, Eric Ten Hag? Drop your comments below. Guy, great speaking to you. Make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel and talk to you soon.